it's really important that we look at organics as a resource. Well, when you talk about compost, you're really talking about something larger, the soil, right? The top soil that is a very thin layer of soil really supports global agriculture. And there's been a lot of scientific study done now about something called peak soil, that we actually are losing more soil than we are building. And that's long-term unsustainable, and that's really gonna you know, create long-term sort of food production problems for our society. So our view is compost is nature's fertilizer. We're doing it with a modern engineering and we're speeding up the process, but it is the absolute best thing that you can do to improve a soil. What Harvest so, does, we use natural technologies applying modern engineering, technologies called anaerobic digestion, which occurs in a cow's stomach. And you know, people call that biomimicry. We're, we're taking a natural process that has evolved over you know, millions of years, and we're applying modern engineering to that. And then natural microbes break down these organic materials and turn it into biogas. And then the resulting product that comes out of our digester we then are either then uh, turning that into an organic fertilizer or we're further composting it and we're recovering all the nutrients, nutrients in, nutrients out, and then the resulting organic matter all goes to the benefit of local soils. The United States has, to my understanding, the world's largest ethanol industry. And we're taking corn and we're taking the kernels from that corn and turning that into a liquid fuel that we mix in with gasoline and then we put in our cars. Our view is that we should take the whole plant. If we're going to have a bioenergy industry in this country, we just shouldn't use a tiny piece of a plant. Harvest is a clean tech company. And what that really means is that you, you need to provide basically a solution, a technology, a service that basically improves the environmental footprint, lowers the consumption of fossil fuel energy, and lowers cost. And I think the lowering the cost is, is the big thing, and we can't lose sight of that. So if you look at the development over the last 25 years, uh, from when I got started, there was a couple 300 composters in North America, now there's 5,000. So I think policymakers said we should not put leaves, grass, and brush in a landfill. We should not dump biosolids in the ocean. These were common practices 15, 20 years ago. So I draw inspiration from that, and I look at food waste now, 95, 97% still being disposed of in landfills and incineration plants, and I view food waste now as where yard waste was, say, 15 years ago. Board. And so, so I'm I optimistic long-term. Uh, environment, uh, renewable energy, our overall energy policy, this is a bipartisan issue. This is not a Republican or a Democrat issue. This is a human being issue. This is our relationship with our planet.